episode, but we got to talk about, and I do cushion my excitement for this just a little bit, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But we hear Patrick Stewart's voice. Uh, we we see the, uh, Doctor Strange being led into this like council room with these with these chairs and various figures sitting on them, and they were very clever the way that they lit it because the characters were all blacked out. But I, so I have no idea who the heck was on there. I, I, I don't even know where to begin with that, but the way that they revealed it when Dr. Strange is being led up with all of those Ultron bots and he comes to them and you just hear as we focus on Dr. Strange's face, you hear Patrick Stewart saying, I think he says, we should tell him the truth. And they zoom back and you get like the tiniest glimpse of his bald head. And then that's that's just enough for people to just go wild. I didn't go wild over it. I thought it was really cool. I definitely recognized his voice. The cushioning of my excitement for this, though, everyone's like, the X-Men, they're bringing in the X-Men. It's, it's Xavier, they're bringing in the X-Men. I temper that just a little bit, and I temper that because of a guy called Ralph Boner. Because we've been here before. When Evan Peters showed up in WandaVision, when he showed up at her doorstep, and we all freaked out, it's Quicksilver! It's the X-Men Fox coming into the MCU! And I was one of those people. Go back and watch that that episode of WandaVision recap that I did, I was freaking out. I I didn't know what it meant. I didn't know if she was pulling in characters from other universes. Um, but it just ended up being for naught. And they didn't really do anything with it. And he just ended up being a, a throwaway character. And it was disappointing, to be honest. As, as much as I loved WandaVision, it was disappointing that he just ended up being a throwaway character. Um, and... I have to imagine that if they put this in a trailer and they put this in a widely released huge movie, um, especially coming off of the heels of No Way Home, where we know the possibilities now that the MCU can do with the multiverse, that they're going to pull a Ralph Boner with with uh, Patrick Stewart in this movie. I would put money on it that he is going to be some version of Professor X. But I cushion that just a little bit because in the back of my head, I just remember Ralph Boner. And I hope that's not the case, but I uh, I wouldn't put it... I don't want to say I wouldn't put it past them. I would hope that they wouldn't do that. I have, tr- I have trust in Kevin Feige that he knows the fan base enough that he wouldn't do that and tick us all off. 